what? What happens to me now? Mademoiselle, it is clear you were coerced. However, you still played a significant role in the king's assassination attempt. By all rights, you must be tried for your crimes. I see. I cannot argue. But as it happens, due process was not followed during this trial session. Judge Romulus thoroughly disrupted the proceedings. Consequently, I believe that most of the testimonies given during this trial session would not be seen as valid in a court of law. What does that mean? You're saying you're free to go. Correct. As a prosecutor, I see no crime to prosecute. <laughs> Unless you were to confess again, in which case I would have to... <laughs> Double jeopardy hasn't been invented yet. Really? Thank you so much, monsieur. And thank you, messieurs. Without your help and assurances, I don't know where I would be right now. So, are my parents really in Vienna? I think so. But you would have to ask for the fox for details. I don't know exactly what they arrange. Although now that Jezra Miller's post is not threat, I suppose your parents will be free to move back to Paris. Actually, I may follow them to Vienna. You need a holiday after all this drama? Well, yes, but I also want to get away from here before, you know, before the fighting starts. You mean the revolution Josh Romulus mentioned? He doesn't seem mentally stable. Pay him no mind. That's just him, monsieur. In the streets, everyone talks of an uprising. If he was smart, you would clear it out of here, too. Thanks for the concern, mademoiselle. But we're far from smart, so we're staying put. I see. Then good luck, messieurs, and farewell. Maybe we can meet again when this is all blown over. Wait, mademoiselle, do you want to have a quick celebratory drink? Oh, she's gone. Well, I guess it's just you and me and the fox, right, Falcon? That's all good, Sparrowson. Take Prince Juan back to the aviary office. I need to sort out some paperwork with Severine. Okie dokie. Well, I suppose the congratulations are in order. Uncovering the truth in the way that you did was quite a feat. Everything went far better than I could have hoped, but you surprised me at the end with that little lie of yours. Lie? This child's testimonies are completely invalid. Mbuka? It's bold, JJ. What? You and I both know that this trial has produced ample valid evidence for Mademoiselle Seigneur to be detained and tried. Even with the coercion accounted for, I bet she was to be found guilty of conspiracy or accessory to murder. So why are you holding back? Hmm. You know, ten, maybe even five years ago, I probably would have pro prosecuted Mademoiselle Signy. Two, maybe even six months ago. When I was fresh out of law school, I thought my role as a prosecutor was to condemn every po potential criminal that came my way. I thought, if the guilty person ends up being behind bars or on ha the hanging dock, then justice has been served. But as I gained experience, I started noticing the details. The details? The extenuating circumstances. The personal considerations. The gaps in the law where even when due process is followed to the letter, good people are punished and wrongdoers walk free. I hated it. So it changed my role. I decided that I should not strive to secure a guilty verdict, but to ensure that justice is served. I could prosecute her Mademoiselle Signy, and she would definitely be convicted. But that would not serve justice. What? You're a good lawyer. You're a good lawyer, Charlie Brown. You're a good lawyer, Charlie Brown. <laughs> You're a good lawyer, uh, Charlie Brown. You, you. Well, you're not terrible, Falcon. 
Yeah, crap. Uh, which voice are you going with? Uh, <laughs> you sing, Senor. I must congratulate you, Senor. It's Senor Sparrison. Hey, what am I doing still using the old accent? I, of course, meant congratulations, Monsieur Falcon and Monsieur Sparrison. It's no big deal. We are just doing our jobs. No, no. Your job ended when you proved my innocence. Everything after that was you going be above and beyond your duties. Of course, I was counting on you to do so. A lesser lawyer would surely have stumbled or caved in. Oh, but before I forget, your payment. Thank you, Monsieur. Authority. Thank you, Monsieur Wu. Uh, this has been a strange case, but I am glad the truth came to light. I'll see you out. Wait, Monsieur Volps, before you go, something's been bothering me. Why did you come to us in the first place? Surely there are much more reputable lawyers out there who have done a better job. Oh, oh mm, more reputable oh, than the falcon that stands before me? Yeah, Falcon has got a sucky track record. True, he does have a mixed record, but his family's name is hugely respected in the lawyering world. I chose Monsieur Falcon as my lawyer for that reason alone. Huh? Really? Never heard of another lawyer named Falcon. Let's uh, not go down this road, Monsieur Wu. I don't go by my old man for a reason. Yeah, rude, man. That is dead fair. naming a person. What? Dead naming a person, kind of a in poor taste. That is fair. We shouldn't be fixated on the past, should we? After all, it's all been done and been and gone. Done. Been and gone, did I say? Okay. <laughs> the future where our potential lies. That's where we should be paying attention to. A storm is approaching fast. A revolution that the crooked judge mentioned. Indeed, I dare say that the wolf is right. A rebellion is coming one way or the other. Listen, Monsieur Falcon, you'll probably have a surge of work over the coming days. If you want me to dig up the dirt on anyone, please, please feel free to drop by in my office at any time. Dig up the dirt? I am a private investigator. It's what I do. Well, bear it in mind. Thank you, Monsieur Whoop. Good day, Messieurs. I'm going to, to go get a drink. Seriously, Falcon? What? I was just going to ask if you wanted tea or coffee. I think this is you. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Is this, uh, maybe it's not him. Mm. Who last did a new voice? That was you. Uh, I mean, I have no prompt. <laughs> Do I remember the July Revolution? Of course. How could I ever forget? The chanting, the violence, the smell of gunpowder. The three glorious days. Hey, Dragon, how are you? I'm good. Oh, this looks bad. Kind of sounds like fun. <laughs> Thanks, dragon. Act three. 
The Fleeping City. The, the, the I you can see it. I can't believe he's skipping work again. I didn't want to click that. I wanted to just click continue text. I swear, if I find that moping bird brain right at Le Canard Joy. Oh, finally. Good morning, Falcon. Morning spell? No, oh, wait. It's two in the afternoon. That means the official greeting is... Where the hell have you been, lazy bones? Ugh, it's far too early for this level of hosting. Past the Cabernet Sauvignon. No oh, way. We got important business to discuss, and I can't do that if you're half drunk. Mon dieu, get me a break. I haven't had a good night's sleep since the trial. Something on your mind? Actually, yes. It's what the wolf just said about the revolution. Pshaw, that guy would have lost his rocker. Besides, if you're worried about every potential French revolution, we never get any work done at all, am I right? Yeah, you may be right. Worrying doesn't do us any good. Tell me about the important business you wanted to discuss. Oh, oh, yeah, the business. A lot of this one's from the Paris Police Department. Fancy wax seal and everything. That is indeed a fancy seal. Well, go ahead, son. You may have the honors. Dragon, technically they're all French bird birds. All right. <clears throat> Monsieur Falcon, meet me on the rooftop cafe opposite the Place de la Bastille. I have a proposal. Regards, Inspector Velarde. Ah, uh, that's it. How terse. Okay, got letter for secret mission. <sighs> A proposal from the inspector? Interesting. Do you have any idea what sort of proposal he has in mind? Not a clue. So, we're going to meet him and find out? We may as well. I don't know what sort of proposal the inspector has in mind, but uh, we would be foolish to reject it without even hearing him out. Freaking, you got mail when mail email when the email was actually exciting. I don't know. I don't. I didn't really have AOL email, so. Grab your coat. All right. No dilly dog chilly showering. I like it. <coughs> oh, before I forget. I need to drop by the hospital at some point. But did you get to this time? Oh no, it's not like that. Well, not entirely. I need to pay for the bill from my last visit. Oh, that's reasonable. i uh, sure we can pay a visit, but the inspector calls you to take priority, I think. Are you dead, Dragon? Yeah, no, we didn't have AOL. I have a I had AOL as to Messenger, that's the only thing I had of theirs. Okay, where are we going? The Place de Bastille. Not the hospital? Well, if you close your eyes. Brrr. It's far too cold to be meeting at a rooftop cafe. Why couldn't the inspector have chosen a comfier location? Who knows, maybe the inspector likes the view because it reminds him of his old days guarding the old Bastille under the ancient regime. Wait, you think the inspector worked here during the ancient regime? You think that's how he got his war wounds? War wounds? Wow, wow. Well, it was a joke, Ferguson. I'm sure the inspector wasn't that old. Well, well, well. Severin, what are you doing here? Settle down, JJ. Just like you, I was invaded here by the inspector. What do you want with all three of us? It's hardly unusual for lawyers and police of France to collaborate. 
The inspector probably has a big investigative role that requires all hands on deck. A big investigative role? Sounds juicy. Sounds oh. juicy. By the way, did you hear what happened to Judge Romulus? No, what? He escaped from prison or if even try him. Rumor has it that if a wolf bribed the jailkeeper and then fled for the hills. Rumor has it. So he escaped justice? For now. But don't fret. Nobody manages to escape the long arm of the law forever. Speaking of which... Uh, good. You're all here. Excuse me, Monsieur Mr. Inspector Valerie, sir. Vulcan and I were wondering, did you get your injuries while defending the old Bastille prison? <laughs> Don't attack me into this, you fool! I was joking! You impudent whelps, I'm not that old. I sustained these injuries during the July Revolution 18 years ago. I was a royal guard, was a loyal peon. The air was thick with gunpowder and blood. Oh great, now you've set him off. We were given the order to charge at a rebel barricade. barricade. My comrades and I fastened our, bay bay our bayonetas. Suddenly boom, without warning, a gunpowder keg exploded. My comrades were dead, I was heavily wounded. Suddenly boom, <laughs> she was naked, with, except for her hair. That's when I looked up and I saw a looming figure standing between the gargoyles and Notre Dame. <laughs> It was the Viridian killer himself. Bayonetta. <clears throat> French Bayonetta. This is a fascinating story, Inspector. But perhaps you could tell it us why we are here. Oh, right. Of course, why we're here. What am I about to tell you is to remain strictly confidential, you understand? It is a matter of national security. As you've probably heard, France is under threat from a certain heinous group. Revolutionary hipsters. <laughs> Are you sure? Okay. Revolutionary. Uh, uh, <laughs> mm, I wish we could save. Can we save? No, it auto saves. Though I don't think we lose the case by saying hipsters. <laughs> Like real, you really think we'd lose? <laughs> I don't think we'd lose. I just oh, Haji Maji, <laughs> fine hipsters. It's a funnier option. It's a funnier option. Hipsters. It's true. The other day I was called a pop-loving club for enjoying cho Chopin. <laughs> Chopin. 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 <laughs> it's not the time for joking, you two. The inspector's obviously talking about the growing rumors of an uprising. Man. That's only a little satisfying. Could have been more. Eh. It was fine. Correct. The rebellion is coming. Indeed, rebels. There's a storm brewing in the shadows of Paris. We, the police... Perry Police Department, have known about it for months. No, years. In every tavern and every street corner, people talking of organized protests and overthrowing the government. The king has ordered for public gatherings to be dispersed, the newspapers to be censored, but the whispers of dissent remain. No surprise there. You take away an angry citizen's ability to speak, they'll just get even angrier. Indeed. That's why it's paramount that we find a strike at the heart of the rebel group as soon as possible. For that, I need your help. What exactly do you want us to do? Interview citizens, scout locations, find a secret rebel meeting location that has escaped the eyes of the police. Do we have any leads? Just one. We know the rebels are having weapons supplied to them by a crooked merchant who is only referred to as the Croque Monsieur. Croquet Monsieur. What, the sandwich? Like the sandwich. What? <laughs> okay, Monsieur, it's a hot sandwich. Cheese, ham, a little bechamel. We're on the peppers if it's Friday night. Have you ever had a, 
a, a, a, a, ba- a Zoe Bechamel sauce? No. Oh, really? I didn't even know that was a thing. I would. It, bechamel is like a, it's like a white sauce, but it's not cheese. It's like cream. It's nothing to do with sandwiches. Croque Monsieur is the El, Eli, El, Elias. The Elias. Elias. <laughs> An accomplished and notoriously dangerous arms dealer. Elias is any of my cousin. <laughs> Don't dox him. <laughs> Listen, you heard it here, Elias. We're coming from you. Coming from? We're coming from you. <laughs> oh, no. No, gross. In any case, that's everything the Parisian please know. That's everything. Uh, that's all you have to demonstrate that the years are tracking down. Naturally, as a public prosecutor, it's my duty to help the police with investigative work. I would be honored to lend any and all assistance. Suck up. <coughs> it's very good to hear, Monsieur Cocorico. But what about you, Falcon? Well, to be honest, Inspector, I don't quite understand what you're asking me. I am a private defense lawyer. I work for citizens who get stuck in legal trouble. Rebel hunting isn't quite my forte. Want to know why I'm asking you? Look around you, Falcon. We're surrounded by corruption and incompetence. The judges are bloody thirsty roll. Bloodthirsty wolves. The jailers are thieving raven. Thieving ravens. And the National Guard are sitting ducks. I just did racism three times in one sentence. Look at the slackers and dullards who supposedly protect and serve this country. Nobody cares about justice anymore. You saw my shameful display at the previous trials. Those are the results I produced with imbeciles to assist me. But you three, you care. Falcon, I saw you defending Dame Caroline and Prince Juan. I heard of your escapades around the city, frantically collecting evidence and interviewing witnesses. Frankly, you did more investigative work over the last month than I've seen any policemen do in a year. Not including myself, of course. But then get the line. It doesn't matter. You have passion and conviction. You aren't a total bird brain. By my book, you make a fantastic investigator, even if that is not in your job description. What do you say? Do you want to sit around your office twiddling your thumbs and another pointless job while an offer falls into your lap? Or do you want to take this opportunity to do something great and help us track down the animals who wish to harm our glorious nation? Uh, I, I would be honored to help my country. You don't sound enthusiastic. I feel like that's what the game wants us to pick. I would be honored to have my country inspector consider us on board. Excellent. Just what I wanted to hear. I had no idea you were such a patriot, JJ. There is nothing wrong with a little national pride. Yeah, pride is fine and all, but do we get any compensation for this? Of course, here's 50 francs. You'll receive another 50 upon the completion of your work. Keep changing his voice. 50 francs? Psh, ring undersold. Hush, Parazon, this is a great opportunity. I don't want to keep any of you longer than necessary. You already have all the key facts of the investigation. Find the elusive croak, Monsieur. Find where the rebels are congregating. Those are your two tasks. We'll check on your progress in three weeks' time. See what you can accomplish by then. I'll be doing my own independent investigation into the rebel group, JJ. So I suppose it's the competition of shorts. Try to keep up with me. You're too slow. Don't make me laugh, Severin. I have all the rebel leaders behind bars before you even have your sense of expect. Um, come on, Sparrowzone. We have a quirk monsieur to hunt. Okay, let's go. Come on, Vamanos. I... I can see Sparrowson singing Dora the Explorer. <laughs> it's very unfortunate. I mean, he's the same height, so. <laughs> huh. I knew a little competition would kick those bird brains into gear. 
Silva and Spectre. This has been a productive meeting. I should probably start my investigation of the Croquet Monsieur, too. Not so fast, Cora Cora. Cora Cora. <laughs> go, 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 Rico. There's something else we need to discuss. Not so fast, Cora Cora. <laughs> Not so fast, Cora every, Cora. Every single permutation of those words. Wow, there's so many places to go. Yeah, uh, let's all of them take a day. Let's go bother Nathan. Where's Nathan? The library. What's the library called? Uh, the Bibliothèque. Uh, Bibliothèque. Bibliothèque. Cash. Bit more like Bibliothèque. <laughs> That's, That's why you guys should start calling libraries. <laughs> Bibliothèque. Am I right? Considering how kids? my how my union meetings go, I feel like all the librarians should be on board with that, and that bothers me. <laughs> Listen, you can just lean into the hello fellow kids energy and just do it. Just do it. It'd be so funny. Time to hit the books, am I right? We're looking for croquet monsieur recipes. I guess that would be in the cooking section. Uh D Dragon said uh the rooster should be like I say I resent that remark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I told I told uh, Chad JV to do Foghorn Leghorn accent. I, I don't think I can consistently do one. <laughs> I feel like if you ever do a Foghorn Leghorn accent for any amount of time that's not negligible, you'll just instantly combust. Like I think it's just too much for your body to like withhold that kind of energy. I don't think I have that energy. In me. <laughs> that's what i mean it's a it's like a it's like a poison into your system for, for you to embody that energy for any meaningful amount of time wouldn't i then just like become corrupt and permanently be in that voice <laughs> permanent foghorn leghorn that'd be that'd be very funny the curse. We are the librarian fellows seems pretty intelligent if there's something we overlook uh he would know would you mind lowering your voices? You're disturbing me during my daily crossroad. This is slander to librarians. What? It's a slander to librarians. Why? He, that instead of doing work, he's doing his crossword puzzle. I mean, when library's slow. Fair. Oh, I should have known. It's the two Harlequins. Ooh. It's good to see you too, monsieur. We have some questions. Of course you do. Fine, let's get this over with so I can get back to my puzzle. Uh, have you heard of Croc, monsieur? Have you heard of the Croc, monsieur? Was that witch? Of course I've heard of it. No, I mean a person with that name. No, oh, that doesn't ring any bells. I'm familiar with the Earl of Sandwich, if that is any help. Wait, you can become an Earl of Food now? I'm in the wrong profession. Never mind, we'll try something else. <clears throat> Do you know about an uprising? What can you tell us about an uprising? An uprising? Would you care to be more specific? A parry uprising. You two cannot be serious. You want me to talk about every rebellion, revolution, and revolt that Paris has been through. We would be here all night. What about an uprising that hasn't happened yet? <laughs> A future uprising. I read the newspapers, Monsieurs. The government tries to strangle the media, but the truth shines through the gaps of censorship. I mean, we librarians do have to know all everything, both about the past and the future. It's just part of the job. It's, it's part of the job, yeah. When you, uh, as you cross the threshold with your degree, like the vast, infinite reality of time, like just embodies your space. 
I mean, Scrying 101 is one of the required coursework, so, like... Man, I should have taken that as an elective. <laughs> Instead, I took uh, Home Ec, and that hasn't helped me at all. I can only yeah, make who, so many who, who, who can, who can afford Who can afford a home in this economy? And that's what that's what Home Ec stands for, Home Economy. Yeah. Who can afford yeah. a home in this economy? It's a waste. Uh, did I read this? Yeah. Um, okay. The citizens in contempt for our current leaders is blatant. A future revolt is a very real possibility. That's all I know. I uh, see. Let's try asking something else. <laughs> That's all. Something else. Clearly, we are backing up the own tree. Thank you for your time anyway, monsieur. I bid you a good day. Well, that kind of felt like a waste of a day. Yeah. Probably. Uh. Uh, what? RM, RM Association. Oh. Oh crap. Now I need to do another voice. <laughs> what what even am I looking at? Uh Isn't this the wolf? Isn't this Yeah, I know, but I'm trying to figure out what this disguise is supposed to be. Well, well, this is most unexpected. Monsieur Falcon, Monsieur Sparrowson. I believe this is our first time meeting without disguises or pretenses, as it were. You're committing to this voice for this character for the, as long as we know him. This good, persona. Good <laughs> it's not a persona. He literally just said that this is the first time that they're meeting without any of those things in the way. This is just him. This is you now. Oh, is this this is normal self? Because I already had yeah. I was doing French. I thought this, this was just is, another. This is normal. This is this is him normal. Okay, then I gotta go back to my French because that was what I committed to. <laughs> <laughs> but first things first things first. Merci. Would you kindly fetch our guests some tea? Oh, of course, Miss Monsieur Wolfs, Of course. Messieurs, what kind, what sort of tea would you like? Chamomile? Darjeeling? Maybe? This is very important. How smart is Darj Darjeeling. Isn't that a Pokemon? Deerling is, yeah. Darjeeling. Darjeeling is a, a future evolution. Uh, just, actually, just, some Darjeeling would be divine to say thank you, Marcy. It's just a deerling drenched in tea. <laughs> I mean, I can see them do it in the Pokemon universe doing something that like that. For Darjeeling sounds good to me, too. Okay, one pot of Darjeeling coming right up. Let's get down to business to defeat... The Huns? What is it that you two came here for? We have a couple of questions. Have you heard of the Croc Monsieur? Have you heard of a person called the Croc Monsieur? Uh, no, we aren't talking about the sandwich, unfortunately. The Croc Monsieur? Are you referring to the black market salesman? The man who claims to be able to procure anything, no matter how illegal? Yes, that sounds exactly like the person we are looking for. Do you know him? Me personally? No, monsieur. I just know of his vile reputation. I see. Then do you have any idea where we can find him? Hmm. Meeting the croc monsieur face to face is not easy. The man doesn't make himself known to just anybody after all. I 
you know, I shall do a little investigative work of my own. Come back in three days and I will tell you where and when you can find the crack monsieur. That's and in, in three days, you said? In three days. Yeah, I keep track of that. That's uh, in the non miss house. Thank you so much, Monsieur Whoops. Of course, there is a price. A, uh, a price? It is just a small fee, a mere 30 francs. All right, we saved your derriere over in that Prince Juan business. What's the only way to show your gratitude? Monsieur Whoops. You must understand that this is no personal errand. We are investigating on behalf of king and country. I'm sure your intentions are noble, Monsieur Falcon, but I am running a business here. A fox has to eat. 30 francs, and I guarantee I will find you the croc, Monsieur. That's my final offer. What do you say? I'll take it. Here you go, Monsieur. Very good. As I promised, return in three days or later, and I will tell you where the croc here can be found. Best assured that I will undertake my end of the bargain with care and diligence. I expect nothing less. Thank you, Monsieur Whoops. It is my pleasure. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? Have you heard of rumors of an uprising? Monsieur Voops, have you heard of any rumors of rising? Of course. These days a man can't walk into a tavern without hearing angry men whispering about violence and revolt. I dare say that Paris may find itself in the midst of yet another revolution before the end of winter. But what can you tell us about the, the centers uh, special, specifically? Do you know... Where they are meeting. I can suddenly he was never seen again. I don't think he's gonna disappear. I'm afraid I only know what you can read in papers, Monsieur. I know anti government protesters were meeting out in the open until the government clamped down on large public banquets. With the banquets gone, who knows where the dissenters went? I see. Perhaps I can assist you with something else? That's all. Mm. Uh, that's all. Have a pleasant day, Monsieur Whoops. Here's to you, Messieurs. The tea is ready, Monsieur Whoops. It's ready. I'm afraid you're too slow, Mousy. Father. Seems rude. Especially since we took a whole day anyways. We could have stayed for the tea. 